wonderful, a very good day, I should be rather saying, and a good afternoon to all of you all who have taken up time to attend this uh, webinar. Uh, these are the best days to invest by listening to people and attending webinars because uh, we are all in a lockdown period. So let's take a good advantage of that. So I am Dr. Ketan Chande, and uh, I will be taking you through a presentation of uh, Shri Vile Parle Ke Lovely Mandal, that is SPKM's NMIMS. NMIMS is a very big brand name, Narsimonia Pro Managing Studies, and one department or school of that is School of Hospitality Management. So NMIMS, it's a deemed to be university, and uh, you can see the accreditations it's got. It is an A plus uh, NAC accredited university. Uh, category one university by M MHRD and UGC. Plus, you can see we are uh, association of the MBAs and SACs accredited NIF, and uh, we have got many accolades to our uh, university. So this gives us an autonomy where you can read down. It's to start new courses, programs, and departments, open research parks, incubation centers, engage foreign faculty and students, and collaborate with reputed universities abroad. And we are all into that already. So we have got a 40 years of legacy, 17,000 plus students, 750 plus faculty, eight campuses across India, and uh, 17 specialized schools. And School of Hospitality Management is one of them. Uh, we are Asia's best emerging business school, Asia's best director award for 2018, Visitor International, National Navi Mumbai Students Champion, the bottom spot. Change initiative. Uh, the brief about the hospitality industry. I know all the students of Lockdown who are planning to do their hospitality have done a lot of research. I will not take a very long time, but just give you a brief that as per the World Travel and Tourism Council, the hospitality and tourism management career options are predicted to grow from the industry's current place at one in ten jobs. That is right now, if you look in the world. Every 10th person is directly or indirectly a part of the hospitality industry, which is going to come down to one in nine jobs. That means we shall be having 380 million jobs worldwide by 2027. This is what has been predicted by the World Tourism Travel and Council. Uh, types of hospitality careers. Again, you all must have studied a lot, but I'll give you a brief. There are students who opt for directly hotel operations like front office, room division, food and beverage, and events. Uh, hospitality management can also have students into HR, finance, marketing, real estate, public relations, entertainment will be venue management, event planning, sales, retail, and VIP services, which are on growth. In luxury, we can have lifestyle services, private charters, VIP events and services, uh, food and beverage will be fine dining, catering, culinary arts, sommeliers, and retail, health and wellness pass, which are again a very growing sector of the industry, fitness, hospitals, retirement, living, uh, online and technology. Uh, we have got uh, online travel agents, startups, sharing economies, and uh, other roles could be hotel openings, hospitality consultancy, project management, and research and development. And these are the big scope for all the hospitality students for future. Uh, I have been doing a lot of research myself because in a lockdown sitting at home, my only connection window is the uh, online world. This is how we are connected. And uh, I've been reading a lot of reports. So I was just going over a report by the very famous research from Deloitte. And as per them, their predictions were why there will be a growth and spurt in this industry is new money. If you look at the Forbes magazine, you will see how the millionaires in the world are growing year over year. And especially these are coming more from the Asian and the developing countries. So disposable incomes are higher, which definitely prompts people to do a lot of tourism and consume the hospitality sector more. We have got affordable airfare. Yes, on this bill, Deloitte wrote this report. I would agree with affordable airfare because it had become very affordable and people were traveling a lot. But this will be seen, which I'll be taking uh, taking you through in my second part of presentation when I say how we see the industry after COVID-19. So airfares might go up because the airplanes, because of the physical distancing, you will realize they will be uh, 
taking lesser passengers means there will be a 33 percent the plane will go vacant only because of what we are facing right now this automatically says the air price might be increased by the airlines of it this is where i read in one of the reports business travel chances of growth are always high because hardly the world has got any barriers between them anymore we are doing a lot of after globalization we are doing a lot of business with all the countries so we have a lot of travel which is happening because of business travel and business travel automatically gives rise to a little bit of a recreational and uh, leisure travel also and uh, focus on experiences is a very important point Deloitte gave us consumers are spending more on recreation travel and eating out and less on material goods of course they had not forecasted the covid at that time but definitely we will be seeing uh, the industry bouncing back much faster than any other industry because this has been the history of the industry the industry which has faced so many problems in its existence uh, unlike many industries that demand years of work experience even for an entry level position the hospital industry offers a wide range of career options for relatively inexperienced individuals with the proper training this is what the hospital industry is looking at because it often values a strong work ethic a dedication to quality service and an outgoing personality more than years of experience the operating industry is brimming with opportunity for new graduates and why an mims and what makes us very different nasimonji institute of uh, management studies the school of hospitality management we always yeah, say that we are with you right to that is our motto we are a deemed to be university the advantage of any uh, uh, institute running with a deemed to be university and being a part of the university is uh, we are very quick when we know the uh, changes happening in the external market we are very quick to add it into our curriculum that means we want to keep you updated with what's happening today in the market not what happened five years back from there we can only take experiences so SDKM's NMIM as Navi Mumbai campus ranks among the top 10 business schools in our country you can see a photograph there and if you come and stand outside the campus will be 10 times more beautiful than what it looks over here we have eight campuses span India at Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, Shirpur, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Indore, Tule, and Chandigarh. But School of Hospitality Management, as of now, has its presence in the Navi Mumbai campus only. Uh, we have got technology friendly environment. That means all our teachers are trained well. You can see the teacher teaching there. We don't have any markers and uh, chalks in our classrooms but we are using smart boards just like the younger generation using uh, the smart uh, phones we are teachers are training you on that that gives us a lot of advantage because uh, technology education is uh, technologically the education imparted plays a very important role in today's world we have got library and uh, we have got an e-library facility that means you can even assess your library because as soon as we join you'll be given a student portal login from where you can go and uh, check the books available in the library you may take them in a physical format you will read many research journals you can have many e-books over there so that from the comfort of your house you can read if you want to do further reading on any topic uh computer labs we have five state of the art with latest updated updates and artists and 40 years legacy takes a lot about us category one university rest details i've given you in the first slide itself uh, when we talk about uh, school of hospitality management encourages research and entrepreneurship in the hospitality industry and uh, nmims has always been uh a creator of a lot of uh, entrepreneurs and they promote a lot of entrepreneurship so even in the hospitality industry we have the whole scope of promoting the same uh, we provide opportunities for international internships and placements a state-of-the-art infrastructure comprising of practical labs classrooms and recreational spaces i'm sure the people who must have logged in must have already seen a walkthrough to our video and uh, we shall run that once more for the people who have logged in late so that they can get the glimpse of our campus virtually as of now till you can come and see it physically 
till the government permits us. Uh, teaching methodology includes classroom lectures, industry visits, projects, conducting events, and internship. And we are more on case studies, just like the uh, what they teach you in the MBA level. That means uh, that garners a lot of uh, gathering of information from the year one itself. That is where we stand separate. Uh, multiple career choices provides pathway to world class NMIMS MBA. This program is further going to be integrated into a course wherein students after the third year who wish to continue with MBA can go further and uh, continue uh, MBA in uh, hospitality and uh, provide strong industry representation, futuristic curriculum and experiential learning. That means on the uh, advisory board, we have practically have had people from the luxury retail sector. We have got uh, 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 the uh, training, learning and development managers of the hotel like Taj, like Mr. Amit Suman. We have got people from the cruise line industry. We have got best of the conditions who have guided us of how to develop our curriculum to ensure that the current students benefit with the current market scenario. Uh, Three-year degree uh, program, BBA. We are the only one as of now in the country who is offering a BBA in hospitality operations and management. It's a unique a blend of skill based knowledge, management subjects and liberal arts. One very big advantage of working in a university which is having so many schools is there's a lot of cross learning which happens and there is a holistic development which we uh, the approach which we have. That means we have got students uh, uh, going and learning uh, music. We have a teacher who will come and teach you music. If you're interested in music, we have got sports rooms. We have got a drawing room. So all these facilities, because we want a holistic development of a student. And uh, what includes in our curriculum would be food styling and entrepreneurship, marketing, managerial economics, tourism management, HR management, retail management, event management, socio-cultural resources, human-centric approach to business, environmental sciences, and impact on tourism. Uh, semester one and two will take you through the basic operations of the hospital industry and foundation knowledge and managerial functions. Semester three and four, three again, you will be on the campus where you'll be studying, but four is a mandatory industry internship, which will be provided with. Uh, semester five and six will be again taking you through advanced learning, which is totally very much uh, shapes you as a manager because we would like to see all our students when they uh, just pass out into the industry and uh, walk out to the would aim at being good managers in a very specific period of time. These are our industrial visits. You can see the pictures where we have taken our students to the IR Regency and uh, there is uh, the picture down on the left shows all our students who have already started uh, ha having industry exposure with a very luxurious property that is the St. Regis. And on the right, you can see the opening of the batch where we had the honorable celebrity chef Vicky Ratnani who had come for the function to guide the uh, budding students and budding careers. Our USP again remains is a pathway to NMIMS MBA in hospitality. So this will be a very major advantage for the students because most of the time the norm has become right now that uh, masters is a norm So for growth. So this is where we are aiming at and this is how we are going to take our program forward. Uh, hands on experience in the fields of culinary arts, bakery and patisserie and rooms division management. Spectrum of opportunities across reputed hotel chains, airlines industries, food liners, retail industry, luxury segments, and food service industry. Medical and student welfare support systems with qualified medical doctor and professional student counselor on board. We have got doctors because sometimes students do have certain issues where they want some guidance. Then we have got doctors who are coming. Uh, Timetable is put for them, and you can definitely take an appointment and go and meet them. These are the opportunities and placements which we offer, which I have already mentioned, but these are the pictorial format of the same. Uh, faculty, yes, we have got uh, our uh, dean who leads us from the, which is a very uh, dynamic lady who has got an experience of setting up to so many catering colleges, uh, Dr. Ruchita Verma. 
she is the dean and she is a postgraduate diploma in hotel management from the prestigious ihm mumbai our associate dean holds a lot of experience from the cruise line and the uh, culinary arts so he is a diploma in hotel management from the prestigious ihm chennai we have ms karishma chauhan that she is the assistant professor bachelor of hm from the ihm mumbai we have on the uh, extreme right mr bimal kumar ekka he is the assistant professor diploma in hotel management from ihm pusa and the person presenting you to you your right now in the center that is dr ketan chande associate professor and i am a diploma in hotel management from ihm ahmedabad so infrastructure wise yes you have seen through but these are some pictures for the people who have logged in late again a walk through comes for you so we have got a basic training kitchen uh, we have got a bakery and confectionery which is fully equipped with the state of the art uh, infrastructure a basic training restaurant which is fully equipped to cater to guests whether it's sit down or a buffet we have a front office lab where students get a hands on training as if they are just working in the industry we have got a housekeeping lab and a training guest room uh, we have got rather two guest rooms which is a double bed and a twin bed so you can see the difference and we are lucky that uh, when five star hotel people have visited that they have complimented by saying that you actually are a five star hotel yourself so that was a very prestigious statement which was given to us uh life at nmm is not only study 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 there's a lot of activities students have to take part from first year itself we have got a student council we have got uh, a cultural committee entrepreneurship cell a sports committee a dance committee a music committee a fashion committee canteen committee you will see most of the time we have just seen events happening all in the college and uh, students participating into that games room yes to recreate yourself and uh, music room we have got the college festival twaran which happens with all the schools participating into this and it happens on a very big platform and there is a prab uh, prabalya which is a sports event so for the all the students who are sports enthusiasts can take part into such sporting events so these are some pictures where students are having a very good time along with their studies um uh, life Uh, in navi mumbai itself is a very beautiful thing because we have a golf course which is very close around and uh, luckily even the golf course uh, management and uh, the person running the catering have been my ex students of course from the other college where i have been associated so it's very proud to see them grow running their own businesses we have got uh, the seawood grand central mall which is one of the biggest malls and central park where one can go and for a stroll and relax i mean navi mumbai talks about everything very big 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 it's a super area there is a topic which has been very much into news and this is where i would quickly run through before we uh, go and uh, start uh, answering your questions that is everybody has a question what about the hospitality industry after covid 19 it is not only the hospitality industry it is all the industries are asking the same question what about our industry after covid 19 definitely for this i have been constantly a part of many webinars by maestros of the hospitality industry so the questions which rose up in all were very common that is what will happen to the hospitality industry will it sustain the current crisis and what's the future of this industry i have gathered thoughts from uh wherever i could and listening to the great maestros and this is what i came across that the world has gone through world war 1 world war 2 which lasted 6 years we have had terrorism we are witness to it we have got uh, sars we have got drops we have seen the zika we have seen the ebola we have seen the h1n1 we have seen tsunami we have seen the global financial crisis we have seen earthquake this is just the claims the list is long and so at the hospitality industry stood its test to all these in india when we look at uh, the taj the iconic property the heritage property standing near the gateway has completed 117 years and it has witnessed all what i showed you there and still going strong and surviving so all over the hospitality industry has most of the research papers and researchers have found out this it uh, 
comes out of any uh, such a type of an situation much quickly. So as per Mr. Farad Jamal, who was the former senior vice president of the Taj Group of Hotels and current chairman of the Travel, Tourism and Hospitality Committee in the Indian Merchant Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mumbai, he has made a very dynamic statement which says tourism is resilient and will bounce back as it has done in the past. He further says that domestic travel in India will be the key to growth in business and leisure travel and may pick up by the pace by quarter three. This would be primarily driven by decreased outbound travel demand and the fear of travel overseas may to many favored destinations till the end of this year and may stretch to early 2021. But the advantage here we see is automatically all the countries inside them will be having a lot of domestic tourism which will take place. Uh, the response to the external factors has been the hospitality industry has always been innovative and responded to external factors innovatively and with a long lasting impact. And uh, one of the key fallouts of COVID-19 will be the enhanced focus on hygiene and sanitation across the hospitality and travel industry. A lot will go into hygiene and India is already working on it. And uh, just to... Uh, tell you about uh, I had put in a picture over there of an uh, Bangalore company which has started no double X AIR which is a sanitizer which sanitizes your whole body into 20 seconds so we will have to ensure that we will be using this type of technology for the guests and for our employees to ensure there is no cross contamination or any uh, communicative diseases uh, spread taking place what we are facing right now so the housekeeping will be at the forefront with uh, new challenges coming up and uh, there will be outside agencies which will be called in hotel who specialize into sanitization and this is mr a ganesh of the, the uh, diversity care the products which are best used in the housekeeping department and if you read the last time he said the professional housekeeping companies are growing rapidly and are headed mostly by hospitality students of yesteryears most of the hotels will now look upon employing and the services of such companies for a total hygiene uh, food production and service sales will see a lot of change. We will immediately see spacing distances. That means the uh, restaurant, which was a 100 cover restaurant or 100 seater restaurant, will automatically become a 50 cover restaurant. Because if you want to uh, gain the faith of your uh, customers, we will have to go an extra inch and ensure you will see a change in the uniforms coming up. We will be having uh, people serving with. Uh, personal protective equipment which you see the PPEs which is a very common word in nowadays because to ensure that we are not carrying any sort of uh, viruses to the guests. So the industry is coping up how we have already got the industry it is not shut down it is working very well you can see there in the last uh, slide that Ginger Bhubaneshwar has got a separate wing with 60 rooms and at 2500 per day for the quarantined people there are many who have quarantined themselves have preferred going to the hotels and putting up there are being offered as per the government norms at 2500 rupees per day with vegetarian meals similarly uh, we are seeing many other hotels which are charging higher for the people who are luxury driven and are have quarantined themselves so the l of erosity new delhi is also working and uh, the best message given by Condonest Traveler, which is one of the foremost magazine, is tough times call for positivity, perseverance, and patience. Right? So the webinar which I attended had the key speakers, which were all the ones you can see on the screen, all our chairman and managing director of great group of hotels. And the takeaway from there was uh, customers will trust restaurants in the brands, and that shall be a good opportunity once the lockdown releases because they will be having more faith on the existing brands. Uh, the guest requirements will be new and customer feedback shall play an important role in gaining them back because customers will start giving you new feedback. You will see a new customer segment which will totally develop and we will have to be very uh, prompt in taking their feedback and implementing it because it will be the best way to revive the industry again. International travel may see a slow growth, but we will see a lot of support in the domestic tourism. Uh, mice, that is the banquets which are being held, will shrink a little in sizes. It's not that people are not going to get married or not be having parties, but where they were calling 1,000 people, they will sh shorten down initially after the lockdown to 250 people or so, and we will have to follow all our distancing norms. Menu choices, uh, 
people gathering for breakfast buffets and all that might stop and give a rise to the a la carte which automatically calls for more labor into the industry and we'll be seeing more of uh individual dishes which will be being ordered by the guests rather than sharing and that will give the chefs a very great opportunity of presenting already pre-plated food is a great norm and uh, brand hotel will recall faster due to the customers trust in promises they make and hotels have already started and cashing by uh, you can visit a site called buy now stay later that is pay now and stay later they are offering you some a uh, coupon of uh, 100 rupees today and telling you when you come back after the lockdown you will get 150 worth rupees goods this is to ensure that the cash flow is generated to ensure that employees are not uh, going without salary because most of the industry is still paying the salary when the staff is not working and there are certain researchers which have to say that you, the hotel industry will have to have a, a lot of changes coming in and uh, we will have to cope up with the sudden increase in demand. There will be a sudden increase in demand because right now, if you given a chance and we say the lockdown is over, I think all the cities which are there, you will see around that, like if Mumbai it is concerned, they will rush up to Lonavala, Mahabaleshwar or Amadiran to rest because people are so fed up at home. So we will have a very quick demand which will come up once the uh, lockdown is released. So this is what I had to say. I knew I did not want to take you through a very talk, a long talk. So I've given you the gist of all the material which I have collected. And we have seen certain students who are asking questions. So I have my colleague, Mr. Bimal Kumar Ikka, and uh, he's online again there. You can see him and we both will be looking at the questions and trying to satisfy the best we can by answering you. Uh, Bimal sir, would you like to take the questions one by one? I think there is... Uh... Yes, there is. Uh, first of all, good afternoon to everyone. And thank you for joining us. Uh, and thank you, uh, Dr. Ketan Chande, for taking us through that wonderful uh, PPT. Uh, this must have given uh, this PPD must have given you some kind of input of about uh, NMIMS as well as BBA in hospitality operations that we are running uh, the hospitality course. We'll definitely have seen a lot of questions over there, and uh, we'll definitely uh, address each and every concerns of yours. But we'll uh, uh, there are some questions which are not from the hospitality uh, vertical and i i will have to excuse me for this and there is over here there is a number there's a toll free number that is 1800102 so any other questions which are not related to hospitality students you can call up at this number and find out especially when there's are questions uh, related to MBA technology and all, or humanity, uh, which has been given over here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, what we can do uh, for the people who have come in late, uh, I have all the questions and we'll definitely be answering it. We will request for one more run of the video. We will uh, request you to go through one more run of this walk-in video. And we'll after, as soon as this is over, we'll start giving you, uh, addressing your concern. So can we run the video one more time, please? Hello? Uh, in case I think there is some problem with this, the video is not coming. <clears throat> so then uh, what we do, we'll answer the questions. Yes. Uh, Ananya Acharya is one. Now, please. Yeah. I think. Yeah, we can run the video.
So hi students, I am Dr. Ruchita Varma. I am the Dean of the LMIMS School of Hospitality Management, which is located at Khargar, Navi, Mumbai. So a lot of students nowadays ask me that why should they join hospitality management? And I ask them why not? Because when you, stu when you study hospitality management, one of the things you know that happens is you get a career without limits. Now what do I mean when I say a career without limits? So we have hospitality graduates who work virtually everywhere and anywhere. There are hospitality graduates who work in the hospitality industry. There are hospitality graduates who work in the airline industry, the cruise line, the shipping industry. There are hospitality graduates who are entrepreneurs who own their own restaurants. There are hospitality graduates who are uh, today into um, you know, food journalism. There are hospitality graduates who are working into the banking sector, the retail sector, and so on and so on and on. I could just go on and on and on. Another reason I really find exciting about working in the hospitality is we are spread all over the world. There are hospitality graduates who are working as far away as New York and also in the Republic of Congo. You get jobs just about anywhere and not only jobs, you actually, you know, learn to be entrepreneurs across the world. So that I feel is another reason, you know, if, if you are a world lover, if you are a travel lover, hospitality is where you have to be. Another thing, I always feel that as hospitality graduates, we come with inbuilt natural leadership skills. So yes, you know, we are, we are born leaders, we are natural leaders. Also, this is one of those special, special programs uh, wherein, you know, you get to learn your presentation skills within the program. You get to uh, learn your soft skills within the program. Everything is so imbibed within the program that by the time you graduate, you become a thorough professional res ready to present yourself to the world. One more reason, one of the last reason, which is one of my favorite reason to join the hospitality uh, industry. And that is, you know, you network with just about everybody in the world. I always tell my students that when you are a hospitality graduate, you, are, you become, you know, you are one of a natural phone book, contact phone book of yourself throughout the world. Because we have people spread everywhere. We are natural speakers. We are natural leaders. We just connect with everybody. And that, I think, gets us going anywhere in the world. Uh, hello, my name is Kitesh Rajput and I'm studying in NMIMS and SOHM. Uh, school, uh, school of Hospitality Management is very good over here. NMIMS is a highly decorated university in India. That's why I chose this course. Uh, choosing this course is uh, very good to me because I have interest in hospitality field. My dad's own a business of hotels so I can uh, grow it. Uh, I made friends very easily over here. People, uh, people here are very helpful. I also made friends out of uh, out of uh, very different schools here. We have school of law, school of commerce, etc. The class over here is very great because we have visual aids in our class, which help us out and increase our in capability of learning. Uh, the faculty over here is very resourceful. That's why I encourage you to join NMIMS. Hashtag be an NMIT. Hi, my name is Shanvi Gupta. I'm here the first year student from SOHM NMIMS Navi Mumbai campus. I chose this course for hospitality actually, was giving service. So I didn't came to Mumbai for looking for hospitality or something. I didn't actually came here for looking hotel management or some I was here for event management. But when I came here, I got more options to see what actually I am to do. So I thought choosing this course would be more better because in getting more different course because this course provide you a lot more different areas to go through because if I would have gone for just for even management I would have been there only but in this course I can even choose more uh, careers and go for other things also uh, I chose this course because the first of all the reputation of NMIMS for being 
such a great college and it comes in the top 10 also that was the first most factor then the uh, faculty over here i really searched upon them so i get to know they are the, they are very good in that then i get to know about the first the career options of getting at uh, job placements and internships and what else it happens in being in being in nmims so as per i know for being in the first year student i totally my journey was being very good all the f- we got to know many more guest lectures we got we got to more many career options we were giving so and practicals were being held so everything was not only theoretical but being practical also so as far as now i actually have learned many more things and i'm really looking forward this for two years that going to be more interesting i really look forward to that and really thank you Yes, Subhiman sir. Yes, Subhiman sir. Ah, yeah. Um, uh, sorry, uh, I. Got so, okay, question fine. number one, I can see is uh, uh, Shriya Khandeya. Yes, uh, Shriya, uh, are you there? She might be muted. Shriya so we has can asked the one of the basic questions. Ha. Huh. Shriya, Shriya has the basic question. What Shriya has asked about uh, how to get admission. Yes, after 12th standard, what are the requirements for admission for the BBA course that we are running and that is BBA in Hospitality, Operation and Management? And when is the entrance exam held? And what is the cutoff for the same? Uh, Shriya and all the others, after 12th, and when we say 12th, it could be of any stream, arts, science, commerce. You, after doing a 12th standard, the requirement would be or the cutoff would be right as of now is 50 percent and above and it's very important that the student has cleared all the subjects in his or first attempt so anybody who has not cleared will not be eligible in other words a student who has secured more than 50 percent and has cleared all the subjects is eligible for this course about the entrance examination we are into a very challenging situation right now where we are unable to call the students for the entrance examination to the campus or take them through the campus rather so instead of entrance examination a uh, online interview would be uh, taken instead of that now in this online interview i can see few of uh, you have already given this interview uh, ananya is there emmanuel is there uh, in this interview there will be a panel and the panel will consist of an internal faculty member and an external a person of a repute from a hotel or hospitality industry they will take an interview uh, online interview and evaluate your you on the basis of this interview and then the selection process will take place either you will be offered the admission mostly right and so as of this year last year we had the entrance examination this year we do not have any entrance examination it's only going through the online uh, interview we had one online interview on 22nd of April. The next one, which is going to happen, is on 2nd of May. So anybody who is interested to appear for this interview need to go to the website, register themselves, and they can appear for the 2nd May interview process. Shriya, I hope I have answered your uh, queries about this if you uh, have furthermore please do answer uh, ask this question i have another question which is coming from ananya acharya this question is uh, I, uh, is regarding the hostel and the same uh, concern i guess emmanuel also has it 
the hostel admission can be done only after you have taken admission for this BBA course. So once your admission is finalized with the BBA hospitality and operation management course, you can go ahead to take admission for your hostel. The hostel is not at present inside the campus, but it is nearby. It is within the two kilometers. It is very near and very easily accessible. So, right? And there are different hostels at present for boys and for girls. If you have any more on this, please uh, do write. Uh, the another question that I see and have seen over here, and it's again from Ananya Acharya, is about the integrated MBA program. Yes, we are gonna conduct this integrated MBA program, and this will start from the year 2022. So not this year, not the next year, but next to next year it will start. It that is 20. 2022 and this would be for two years this integrated program uh, integrated MBA program is for those students who have done their hospitality gra hospitality graduate right and in this particular MBA the students have the choice to go with certain specialization right this could be about specialization like marketing, HR, HRM. It could be about, you know, event management. It could be about travel management. It could be about retails. A student can choose and they, and they can go ahead with this uh, MBA program. It could also be about service marketing management. Uh, of course, the in order to get this MBA programs would be you know would be integrated in a such a way because these subjects are already been taken care into this three years degree program that is BBA in hospitality and operation management and most of these subjects are taken care in the semester five and semester six. So uh, Ananya, this would start from 2022 and it would be for uh, two years only. Uh, then we have another question is from, uh, I think we have Mahima Jha who has quite a number of questions. So Mahima, I will be answering your questions and uh, about humanity and the placement if you're looking uh, you'll have to call that uh, uh, helpline number and if you are uh, do college students the question Mahima is asking do college students college sends the students on the international trip and famous hostel hotels or other countries yes we do uh, plan to take our students for international trips uh, famous hotels, yes, it could be incorporated, but much more, we incorporate a college of a college which runs a hospitality course or a university which has a hospitality course in it. We go to this university, we take our uh, students for a day or two workshop. Uh, international trip is not only about going and going and seeing that place but to also gain knowledge and from the other university yes it would be a sh for a very short period of time a workshop of one day or two days but trust me it does have a lot of value and importance it, uh, number one, it gives you a good knowledge about how things work abroad or in that particular culture or country. Second, you do have an international exposure. Number three, you get to network with the students, the international students over there. And of course, this can be developed further into a good networking and you can be into a global network. 
next it also this kinds of uh, workshop uh, certificates of course you'll be getting a certificate for this also uh, certificates on a testimonial of this kind of workshop helps you greatly in your placements also right uh, i had some more questions from mahima if i could answer that mahima uh, yeah i will come back to this placement uh, yeah later on uh, and now let us go to uh, krish thakkar krish thakkar the question if you are asking uh, i hope you are asking about the fee per year and you are asking the fee for our course that is bba hospitality and operation management course the fee for this would be around 1 lakh 75 1000 to uh, per year even if there is an increase so actually in the first year according to the uh, uh, with the administration fees it would go up to 1 lakh 77000 in the first year second and third year it would be 1 lakh 75000 and in case if there is a it will be a slight change in some admin uh, administrative fees then it would at max will go up to 1.8 so i would say roughly on average it would be 1 lakh 75000 per year right uh, we have suraj singh who has asked good afternoon sir i want to know what about what about to prepare so as to clear the two phase interview the second phase interview yes in the interview there are three four things we are looking mostly number one we are looking at the sheer interest of the candidate his or her interest in joining this course that is of utmost importance you must be interested you really want to do this course you really want to join this program number 2 we'll be looking at your communication how do you communicate what well, how is your language are you a confident communicator you, of course your grammar uh, we'll be looking at your grammar and your fluency also number 3 we'll be looking how you defend or present a cause or an idea suppose if we put you into a different situation we like to see how uh, how you choose it's not about choosing right or wrong whatever you choose how do you defend it so how do you uh, say what idea or what perspective so it is actually looking at about your perspective the fourth one that would be looking at is how comfortable you are in interacting with people right next the fifth one yes we do need to know how you handle the current affairs and the basic general knowledge it is very important to have a basic general knowledge we are looking for actual current affair and general knowledge when we i say actual i i may i please emphasize that we are not looking at the current affair and the general knowledge of whatsapp university a actual one right so these are the five things we you, you have to prepare and be ready for the interviews then we have uh, somebody uh am, am i audible sir i'm getting something about my uh, getting no your, your your video is making your audio is clear sir don't worry oh oh okay okay now i have another one question which is from uh swarna daifale sir can you please explain the admission process uh this time the admission process is all uh, generally 
this there is a set way our university goes number one it the candidate has to register number two the candidate is asked uh, for to come and uh, you know to appear for an entrance examination third on the basis of uh, entrance examination on that evaluation the candidate he or her is asked to come or is invited for a personal interview which is in person after the candidate clears the personal interview he or she is offered the admission however this year due to this lockdown and this challenging time that we are into we are only going through the online interview process so the process over here would be simple number one once uh, the student has to register uh, online for this course number two the student would be invited uh, for the online interview this online interview will be taken by a panel the panel consists of an internal faculty member and a external member who is of a repute uh, position in hospitality industry on the basis of this uh, interview process uh, the, on the uh, which this is evaluated and the student will be offered if cleared and if the results are satisfactory they are offered the admission and then of course it is the choice of the student to take the offer and go ahead with the admission right now we have another one we have uh, I'll come to the placement little later uh, yes this is one question that uh, uh, is coming up okay and this is from Emmanuel Xavier is wondering about the lockdown so if the lockdown is not lifted in july what will happen or is it the the question also says uh, when is the class expected to start in september as per the government new directives emmanuel and all the other we are all in touch with the government the university nmi ms university will take a decision based on all the directives from the government and will decide as of now uh, we uh, we do not have a very concrete decision on this in case if there is a directive from government that it starts in september we start in september and it's not only that we start in september entire university and entire course in the world starts in september in case if we are allowed a lockdown um, is lifted before or, or in july yes we will start and there would be a certain process of starting it uh, maybe 50 percent maybe on an alternative days but this has not come as of now not and been decided the management is working on this the MNM, uh, M, uh, NMIMS University is working on that and you will be notified as and when these decisions are taken it might also include an online classes in fact to tell you we have conducted online classes for the previous batch also during the lockdown now they are, of course they are in vacation uh, then we have some questions about uh, uh, Tanmay Tanmay I I guess what are the fee of the hotel management uh, Tanmay this is uh, uh, yes what you are asking is correct uh, uh, about the it's a nice thing to ask about the fees but let me uh, just reiterate for everybody it's not hotel management it's a hospitality management rather yes it is based on a hotel management but it is much more on uh, hospitality a uh, lot of students have been asking this question about it uh, what is so different about you sir and when, why you always say 
that it's a hospitality and why not hotel when it is based on the hotel management. We are running this course on a very unique blend. It's got the knowledge, skills of hospitality. It's, it has got a blend of managerial subjects and most important, which is very unique, is it also has a blend of liberal arts where the people come in. This is a people-centric course and then we do this liberal art where we talk about different things and what we talk about is, you know, uh, the impact of tourism, the socio-cultural resources of India. We talk about the history and the geography. We also do, uh, in the sixth semester, we also do a subject which is like human-centric approach to business. Everybody wants to open a business. Everybody wants to do a business. But if all of us just forget the one of the very basic and important thing that is human the man himself so this is not just a hotel management it's a hospitality management Tanmay let me come back to this question uh, answer you it is 1.75 1 lakh 75 thousand rupees on an average to be exact the first year you pay 1 lakh 77 thousand rupees as a fees okay if it is not clear, please you can again put it, right? So, Krish, uh, I've answered your also. No, Krish, I've got one more question. Uh, Krish, I've got one more question. He says, what is the batch size and do you offer 100% placements? And what about summer internships? Summer internships. Yeah, there was about, somebody has been asking about summer internship also. I had this, uh, I think Ananya Acharya also had it. Summer internship is for six months and uh, it is in the semester. It's not, I'm, I'm taking, I'm saying the duration is of the six month semester and it is in the semester four. It is in semester four. Most of the time, uh, sorry, in semester four. And if you go, uh, and in our course, and since I've been telling you all about this, that's a BBA in hospitality and operation management, you can do in any of the hospitality vertical. That means you can do your internship in hotel. You can do your internship in with a tour operator. You can do it with an event management group. You can do it with uh, retail. You can do it with your uh, luxury retail. Aviation. So, uh, Aviations, uh, of course, nobody's going to take you in an internship in uh, shipping line. But yes, uh, on the all the uh, verticals of uh, hospitality you can do. You can also do into uh, quick service restaurants, you know, uh, like uh, KFC and all those stuff. You can do it this. And you can do it in Mumbai. You can do it anywhere in India. You can also do anywhere in the world. There is no restriction for that. In fact, the present few of the students are actually were planning. Now they have to rethink and see how the situations are. They were planning to do in UK and France. Well, by the time they come, we guess this challenging times will be over and we could be moving freely in a COVID-19 free world. So you can do it anywhere, any verticals of hospitality, any place in the world, including India, Mumbai, right? As for another question that Ananya had put in about the type of stipend that they give, stipend is a stipend let us not ask about it there would be always less these are always just to keep you coming and going it is it is more or uh, let us take this internship more towards at how much we can gain by learning or 
gaining the knowledge from that particular vertical or wherever we are doing. So we have Hirdia also, Hirdia, uh, Hirdia Talwar also asking for that same internship. We will be overseas or domestic or only domestic. Guys, you can do anywhere in the world, Mumbai, Pan-India, Asia, Europe, anywhere in the world. And you can do it in any vertical of the hospitality. Right? Any more questions that uh, we are looking at? Ananya Acharya again wants to know the internship is arranged by college or I have to arrange my own. Yes. Uh, Ananya, we will bring in a number of people who will be taking an interview and uh, we'll, we might also send you there to uh, uh, you can go to that particular organization or outlet and they might take you a bit of an interview a small interview and then may select you uh, it could be both ways you can of course we'll be uh, helping you assisting you and we'll be arranging you for this kind of interview but in case if a student he or she wants to arrange this his or her internship by themselves they can do so also right uh, sir mahima wants to know in the duration of three or four internship expenses will be incurred by college mahima if i am not mistaken you're trying to ask about the international internship in the domestic internship definitely like bimal sir told you will be directly uh, reporting once you are selected for internship and getting a letter from there but when it comes to international internships there are approved bodies uh, who are doing all your paperwork because it calls for a lot of paperwork so exactly the charges of theirs as well as the uh, charges for your airfare and all will be uh, given to you by them and that has to be borne by you okay uh okay i think that was the thing a trip included in the answer no outside trip whenever it is uh, whenever there is you're going outside these are all to be borne by you okay i have some question from mahima it says what kind of interview will be there I mean can you inform us about the topic they would ask i think we have answered this questions and uh, we have kamya mukheja do you have 100 percent placements uh, what we can promise you yes we will go for a hundred percent placement now this is what i don't know how we are gonna go to give you uh, of course it's never to be given in writing and all it is on for us also our success also depends on this our effort if dr chande is there if i'm there if as a faculty member these are our success story also our effectiveness uh, is also there the entire i think in the ppt we were going through where we had uh, the dean the associate dean the other faculties where the average experience of teaching it's almost 20 to 25 years. I have been teaching for 25 years in academics. Uh, Dr. Chande has over 30 years of experience. And yes, and, and our NMI MS has got, we have another big advantage, I'll tell you, regarding placement. NMI MS is a reputed brand and has been placing its students of HR, marketing, MBA and all other courses in various blue chip companies. All the, the very best companies in the world or India rather. All this company has got requirements of hospitality graduates also. They require people for their customer care. They require people to handle their uh, uh, guest house. They require people to uh, handle their catering. They require the people, so I'll tell you, uh, especially the telecom companies like Geo, uh, Geo and Reliance and all these people, they especially go out for the hospitality graduate for their marketing purpose. So, 
we all this we uh, NM, uh, NMIMS have been giving H, uh, MBA graduate to airlines. So we have a good connect with them. And of course, airlines do take placements of hospitality students. So you can be rest assured, Kamya, uh, about the placement. It would be 100% placement. Uh, and then, so, and, and sir, can you help me with any more questions that yeah, you feel I is important? Maima, I'm Maima, Maima had one more question on college bus facility will be available or not. Maima, we are very well connected with public transportation, autos and everything in Khargar. So we have no college bus facility over there. Uh, students are managing very nicely to come over there. And uh, Khargar is a very spacey area, so you won't have any problem at all when it comes to taking transportation coming over here. We have a metro station bank opposite us, and they told us they might be operational till September 2020. But now, because of COVID, I have no clue. Only when we meet to and talk to them, we will come to know. It is bank opposite the campus. That means you can see the whole campus if you stand at the station. That good is the connectivity with the metro. Uh, station is ready, lines are ready, but we do not know when they are going to give a green flag and start it. Uh, sir, I think uh, Vignesh had one more question, which uh, Karishma ma'am has told me, is about uh, payment of fees. So that is, I think, in how would the payment part. structure be? Okay, see, uh, uh, Vignesh, uh, you, you, I think you have cleared your uh, interview, and you have been already selected. You'll be getting an offer letter soon, either by today, end of the day, or by tomorrow. The offer letter will have all this fee structure and the mode of payment, as well as last date when you have to pay. So each and every instruction would be in this particular document, uh, uh, as well as the refund policy if you're also looking. So Vignesh, please wait. You would be given, uh, this letter will reach you today or maximum by tomorrow on your email, right? Sir, I think we have another one which has been talking, a few number of students have been talking about the batch size. Yes. And uh, uh, I think we are, so we have, I am with Chris Tucker right now and looking at the batch size. Um, there are other students who have also asked for the batch size. Uh, the batch size this time would be... Uh, of 60 students, not more than 60 students we're going to take. That means that we will be only looking at two practical batches. We'll be only looking at two practical batches. Okay. So uh, each back uh, in hospitality, let me tell you how the batch, batch will work. Batch generally of a practical batch is of 30 students and a theory batch goes up to 60 or even more so it is always uh, the students are student intakes or the batch size depends upon the number of practical groups that you take so we'll be looking around at 30 and 30 that makes to around 60 students uh, we are looking at the batch size of 60 only Okay, so and what else we have? Uh, and sir, can you help me with the questions, please? Sir? Any more questions yes, that need to be answered first? I think most of them I... had a batch size we have answered, fees we have answered. Uh, ah. Somebody had asked a question about what will be the hostel fees, so I just um, was looking at that question. Hostel fees, oh. Suvarna, I think uh, Suvarna has been asking for this. The hostel fee is separate. Uh, the academic fees is separate. Hostel fees, uh, this is a hostel which is uh, overseen by uh, NMIMS uh, management and it uh, is 2.5 lakh rupees per annum. Okay. Uh, Mahima again has a question, uh, uh, what is the type of interview and what type of questions will be asked over there. Mahima, uh, we are checking mostly it's the communication skill because communication is very important in the hospitality industry. We definitely want you to know what's happening in the world. So general knowledge test will also be there. And the external uh, interviewer will get want an insight into your personality by asking you like, uh, uh, 
I would like to know something which is not on your resume. So you'll have to be prepared with a very good self introduction to give it to them because they are the ones who uh, mark you and uh, select you. So I think anything more on this, you can put on the chat board by the time we take other questions. If you want to any uh, further questions on this topic. Uh, this, I think, uh, my, my voice, well, yes, what Sarah has been saying has been uh, right. We're looking at the communication, general knowledge. Um, uh, these are the things that we're looking at. Um, and we have uh, another question that is from Suvarna uh, Daifale asking about any amount to be paid to reserve the seat. There is no amount to pay to reserve the seat. There's no way we reserve a seat. Either if you clear the interview, you will be offered an admission. Either you take admission or you don't take admission. The two options only. You take admission or you don't take admission. You don't reserve a seat. Yes, there is. In case if you are looking at some kind of refund, there is a refund policy which will be told to you over the email as soon as you clear your interviews okay uh, so I, I have a I have a question here from Ananya and she says my question regarding the hostel hasn't been answered uh, Ananya may I request you to again put that question or what you were asking actually Hostel, uh, she was asking about the fees only. So the fee structure was there in the hostel. Fee structure is 2.5 lakh rupees per annum. And the campus is outside. It is uh, nearby. It's only 2 kilometers. Boys and girls hostels are separate. Any Anything else? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take one more question from Chris Tucker, which says, is it necessary to cook non-veg? Where is Krish? Okay. You want to answer that, sir? Or you want uh, yes. me to answer? Uh, yes. Uh, no, you are a food production faculty, so it's best best that you give the insight. <laughs> Krish, uh, it seems like you are a vegetarian person. Uh, in uh, hospitality or in the food production, we cook both veg as well as non-veg uh, recipes or the food dishes we do cook veg as well as non-veg however we do not force anybody to touch the non-veg to prepare the non-veg to taste the non-veg none of these three things are forced if you want to do we will not stop you in fact in order to be little careful what we have done or even if you go back uh, if you have seen in that ppt where the students were cooking students are given two types of scarf a scarf is worn near the neck which denotes the uh, the hierarchy or the position over in our training kitchen we have two types of scarf one is a red scarf which denotes that the students is a non-vegetarian or can consume non-veg. Other who are completely vegetarian or vegetarian students are given the green scarf. So by mistake also, we do not hand him or give him non-veg food. Now, it is up to you. And uh, those who are in chef, those who want to become a chef, my personal thing would be this. You are, you are here and you are learning to cook. This learning you are not doing for yourself. You are learning to cook so that you can cook it for someone else for a commercial. That is for some money. Right? So that would be a job and that cooking, you don't do it for yourself, you do it for other. This is only for the students who aspire to become chef. Rest, Krish, rest assured, you are uh, none of the vegetarian students are forced to touch, prepare or consume non-veg food. 
okay may i continue sir uh, may i continue Please, because uh, krish again had the uh, question is of alcoholic beverages yes we teach alcoholic beverages but not to i always tell my students alcoholic beverages are very good to sell not to consume so of course there will be cocktail practical which will be happening over there but definitely the students who do not wish to touch uh, cocktails we make mocktails that is something which is without alcohol the recipe more or less remain the same but no alcohol is there in that so there is no force that you have to make any alcoholic beverage or consume any alcoholic beverages uh, sir in this flow i will just tell one more kamya makija wants to know on an average how many applicants are there every year on an average how many applicants are there every year how how many applicants applicants are there every year i think last year we had uh, somewhere around 127 applicants so am i right yes i think this is the number 127 uh, uh 127 applicants were there out of which we had selected 48 right as per our criteria i hope kamya has uh, got the answer of a question uh, maima yes. is again has asking uh, is there any yes. uh, sir is my, there any timing for the interview on 2nd may is this is the last interview which will be taken by the external that's a question so may, may may i answer this maima uh 2nd may is the last interview or not i don't know it all depends upon our number if we get a number of 60 then it will not be advisable to conduct interview 3 or 4 in case if we are not able to get there could be but if there is if we fulfill fulfill our numbers by second interview which is on 2nd may we need not go for the interview number 3 and 4 Okay, I think I have applied this. Uh, yeah, you are very clear, and you have uh, clearly answered our question. So, if she has uh, anything, she will uh, type in the chat board. Till that time, we will take one more question from Vidya Talwari. Says, Sir, will the practical classes be like some other universities, wherein we apply our theoretical knowledge at a hotel? Uh, see, uh, here there. whatever we're going to teach you would be applicable in the hotel or the hospitality vertical there's no point teaching anything which will not be applicable so both the practical as well as the theoretical knowledge will be applicable to the hotels and trust me they are plenty of it uh mahima is asking is there any timing for interview Maima, there is an interview timing which are official timings between nine to five only. However, all these timings are would be uh, conveyed to you when the invitation letter for interview is sent. They will tell you the exact timings also. Uh, sir, I'll take one more question from Madhav Nagpal. Uh, that is, sir, does the course also has an industrial training of six months like other hotel management institutions have? Uh, yes, Madhav, we have very clearly specified that semester four of yours will be an industrial training, which is a semester for you. So that will have to be completed. If you have any other question of course, on this, please type it so that we can clarify any further doubts if you have. uh yeah, there uh, another question uh, i think timing we have given i have somebody who is not uh, has suvarna has last questions can you please answer the last question of inclusion in fees uh, uh, uh suvarna you do you want to know about the break up of fees i don't know She's asking what all is included in the fees when we share when we are talking about the fee structure. So, like, what is the uh, inclusion? It's in all the, the is the, all the academic yeah. fees. Yeah. It is all no, the academic fees. It does not include any hostel fees. It does not include any other uh, any other fees. So, it does not include internship uh, fees. Uh, or facilities, nothing. It is just the academic fees. Uh, 
any other question uh mahima uh, the interview timing would be sent to you where uh, by the nm ims when they invite you for the interview the timing uh, slot mahima will be uh, told you that what time you have to be ready and approximately what time you will be like for example you will be told and be ready around 11:30 am for your interview for example i'm just giving an example so you will have to be around there and on pre on a pre uh, previous day we will do a test run with you so to ensure that there is no disturbance coming on the uh, interview day i hope that was fine uh, answer to satisfy you so uh, uh, there is one question about the payment which has been not answered for okay. uh, quite a number do, do you want to take this one please uh, yes so who was that was asked a question i cannot uh, uh, ananya has asked mahima has asked um, yeah fine so when we talk about a bba graduate walking out into the market uh, number one is which industry you select right there are students who select the hospitality or hotel industry directly there are certain who go into the other areas of the hospitality industry the way we see right now the situation which has happened so what will happen is automatically the progress of the job will begin probably after one year so by the time you are in third year we'll have to look at the average pay which is going into the uh, into the industry which you are choosing so it could be anything from 15 to 20000 per month to start with as of now we can guess that the figure can be much more if uh, we see the economy reviving in the coming one year so exactly laying the emphasis right now of what will be the situation after 3 years will be a little difficult to say right now but definitely that is the range which you will be starting at um yeah and yeah. Uh, what uh, what have we have said is only about hotels so different other places gives you different uh, yeah uh, what sir has basically said for the one uh, for the first year or first and half year please do not look at it uh, at the salary or the package it is about is it about uh, it is about planning your career ahead trust me that after 2 years the salary that you have initially joined would jump at least twice or if not thrice if not thrice it will jump twice uh mahima has one uh, more question sir that is, is there any procedure yes. filling form please yeah sorry which was the uh, mahima's question uh is there any procedure for filling a form or something to be applicable to give interview we have to fill any form or something else yeah, yeah. it's it's online it's online you have to go online please go to the narsimoji website go to shm right uh, there you will find it for registration okay is that clear mama i think majority of the question which we have seen have been answered but still if you still feel that anything is remaining and you get a doubt maybe a little later uh, you can see there is an email id given the admission enquiry at nmims.edu please drop in a mail over there and definitely we will ensure that your uh, query is uh, replied to uh, right thank you mahima you said okay so, so i'm very happy i think all of you must be satisfied no. yeah acha sir uh, sorry to cut you short i'm also putting up my number over here uh, yes uh, my name uh, my name is bimal ekan my number is 992025317 in the webinar somewhere uh, there is a sound problem could could be there were, could be a network problem so uh, please guys uh, you can definitely call me but please call me after after 2:30 or after this webinar you can call me no worries ha eh? or you can also uh, whatsapp me and this number 
so if there is something and any more questions that is uh, let's check one more time sir if there's some questions that we need we'll take to... just one last question because we have uh, one last exhausted, question. Yeah, our, exhausted our timing so we okay have to timing, yeah. so i think majorly we have that's why i have taken the questions and uh i'm just screening through very quickly uh just to see like uh and then uh, we have answered most of the questions yes and, uh, and they have come through <laughs> Uh, different different uh, ways but yes uh, anyway uh, i have given you my number also please feel free and i'm sure mahima would be having a lot of questions ananya thank you very much uh, we were really happy to solve your problems krish if you find anything more please most welcome uh, you can uh, and i think we have suvarna also who has been actively taking part in this question sovik uh, chakwati i'm sorry i cannot understand your question sovik uh, i am new in this site don't know anything you can get back to me on the mobile aditya no rest questions that we have not answered is not about hospitality so if you want to have some other questions which are not uh, related to hospitality please you can go with this uh, helpline number 18001025138 and uh, hiren you can get back to me personally I fine, think it we was, have answered. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, so fine, it was uh, really wonderful interacting with all of your your lovely audience. Thank you so very much. Just one uh, caution, advice is it's bad time, so please don't venture out. Be home, be safe. We want to see all of you all safe with your families, right? So I think I will uh, yes. take leave here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bimal sir, for uh, beautifully answering all their questions, and thank you so much. Thank you, thank you to all the participants. Thank you very much. Uh, please stay safe.